Hey guys, what's going on? It's Broads here coming at you with another video and today we're gonna hop into some more youth heroes with Leighton Orient. I was thinking of doing like a foot draft video or something like that today, but the ultimate team servers are down, so I'm just gonna hop into some career mode instead. So the first game of the episode it's Pre de Bra vs Leighton Orient. Evans puts it on to Braga. New kid just signing from the youth academy. Center attacking mid, he's on a bit of a run. Ooh, oh my goodness. Oh, he's taken down and it's a penalty, I think. Wow, first touches of the ball and he's won us the penalty. How good's that? Oh my goodness. Oh, he takes, oh jeez, it's a rough decision, but I'll take it anyway. We're going to give it to Galley. I think he's got the best pans. Ooh, oh, yes he does, so we're going to go... To the left, penalty is taken beautifully and Gully gets another goal for the club. 1-0 to Leighton Orient. Bassi puts it in, Braga's there. He's in the action again, the young lad. They're in here, oh jeez. What a header that was from Bostwick. Just wide. Good free kick position here. And, oh, our new center attacking mid Braga has a great free kick stat, so we'll give him a go. Oh, just over. Unlucky that. And that's half time. It's 1 0 thanks to Galley's penalty that was won by the debutante Braga, who on his first touches actually won us the penalty. He's had a very solid first half. Let's see how we get on in the second. Danovich puts it away. For Steinson puts it in. Galley's there. Oh, saved. Once again, he nearly scores. Wow. Substitution. We're taking off Braga. Solid debut for the young lad. Got us that penalty. Nice work. He's done well. Oh, here we go. Pookie puts it on. Galley's away. Oh, puts it down for McGinnis. Scores. 2-0. That'll be the game. Thank you very much. And beautiful. Taking away of the possession there from the Peterborough players. And we sneak a goal in and take away the game. Oh, they put it in. Oh, he could get through. Oh, Laguerre makes a mad save. Oh, here we go. McGinnis. He's quick. He's fresh. Running it down the sideline, he's just going to outpace him, and gives it to Evans, the left back, he shoots, he scores, Evans with a goal, 3-0 now to Leighton Orient, <laughs> what a run from McGinnis, he's had a ma massive impact, and Evans, what a finish from the left back, well, teaching the, teaching Ede and Conrad, saying, hey, give me a go, striker, yo, Harold. And that'll be the game. 3-0 to Leighton Orient. Convincing win. Didn't seem like that all the way through the whole game. But as Peterborough pushed up, the gap started to open up. And we took advantage of it. So good 3-0 win there. So we've got some monthly scouting updates here. Got nothing from Germany. No, no good there. Joel, I don't know where he's at. He's, oh, he's at Ecuador. That's right. Oh, no one there. And last one, Portugal. Disappointing again. No luck with these scouting reports. So second match of the episode, Slayton Orient against MK, MK Dons. Oh, McGinnis has done well there. He's going to get through. Going to take a shot. Ooh, oh, the keeper puts it down. Oh, Conrad nearly got there. He's going. He gives it to McGinnis. McGinnis shoots. Oh, it's saved. Oh, that was such a good opportunity as well. Oh, Galley. Oh, he takes it away. Oh, he hasn't got the pace. Oh, yes, he does. He does. Go. Oh, am I go should I tramp it? Yeah, baby. Oh, my God. Conrad, dude, I shot with you. And you do that, man. Don't you want a goal? I don't think he scored. That's why I tramped it, because I wanted him to get a goal. Ooh, and that's half time. It's nil all. 
We've had a lot of good chances though. One Conrad should have put it away. Evans puts it in. Galley's there. Oh, goal kick. We just can't find this goal against MK Dons. They've been so solid at the back. Okay. It's a free kick. I'd like a left footer on it. Conrad doesn't have the... Oh, Evans, the left back, has decent stats. I didn't think he would, but this would steal the game if we could finish this. So let's give it a go. I'm not going to power it up. I didn't want that to happen. Evans! Oh. Wide. And that'll be the game. Nil all. Pretty boring stuff. So, final match of the episode. It's Portsmouth against Leighton Orient. Bassi puts it in. Oh, that's beautiful. He just couldn't put enough on the header. Oh. That one's going to the car park, mate. So half time, it's nil all, it's been dead silent on the pitch. Hopefully the second half lights up a bit and we can push forward and get a goal. Dragomir, oh, gives it to Braga, shoots, oh, he misses. We need this goal so badly. And it was a great run, but it did not yield a goal. Oh no, jeez, that scared me. Wow, how close was that? I think Weigl had it covered, thank gosh. And that'll be the game. It's finished nil-nil and draws not a bad result because Portsmouth, to be fair, we're the better team, so I'm really happy with that result. So guys, to finish up the episode, we're gonna get into a squad report just to show you how the players are getting on midway through the season. So we've got Jan Weigl, 59 overall, gone up by four. We've got Renee Handanovic, 58, gone up by one. We've got Maxime Fulgini, 66, gone up by one. We've got Thomas Zowett, 65, gone up by two. We've got Carl Evans, going up by two. We've got Paul Steinson, going up by one. We've got Max Nudica, going up by two. We've got McGinnis, 60, going up by two. We've got Luca Bassi, 63, going up by two. Francesco Galli, 67, gone up by one. Ten goals in 12 games, so he's done very well there. Conrad, 53 overall, gone up by one. Daniel Puki, 62 overall, gone up by one. Oh, two, sorry. Matt Donnelly, 56 overall, gone up by two. Franjo Alanovic, 57 overall, gone up by two. Marco Ede, 53 overall, gone up by two. Dragomir Bogdanovic, 61 overall, gone up by two. Richard Gunter, 53 overall, gone up by one. Giuseppe Burmeister, 64 overall, gone up by two. And I think there's some more players down at the end here. We've got Mateus Acevedo, 63, gone up by one. We've got Florian Straub, 53, overall, gone up by one. We've got Martim Noguera, 60, overall, gone up by four. We've got Marvin Raider, 56, overall, gone up by two. And Alessandro Vitali, 52, overall, not gone up at all. We've got Fernando Braga, great debut this episode, 61, overall. We've got George Asenio, 48 overall, gone up by one. And Andrzej Jurkin, 48 overall. And I think that's going to wrap it up, guys. So if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.